Hello guys, welcome to another video by Geek Together. Today we'll be talking about how you can further streamline your Apache Guacamole installation for better security and easier management. For a lot of you, you have Apache Guacamole installed in the cloud on something like Linode or Microsoft Azure. Um, and every time you want to access a server or resource inside of your home network, you're going to have to open RDP, SSH, and VNC ports from that cloud provider and port forward to your internal network. But what if I told you you can install Apache Guacamole on the cloud and you can have a separate install of GuacD, which is the Apache Guacamole server only in your internal network. That way you're only going to open up one port from your cloud provider, which is Linode or Azure. And that port is going to be port 4822, which you can also um, secure with an SSL certificate into your internal network to gain access to your internal GuacD server. And with that setup, you'll be able to access RDP, VNC, and any other protocol that's supported by Guacamole just by using that one port. Pretty straightforward. Um, if you already know how Guacamole works, you can forward um, this video a little bit. Um, but if you don't, um, the gist is Guacamole has two separate components. So you have the main servlet con uh, container, which is the web server for Guacamole. It's essentially Apache Tomcat that serves you the web user interface, which is where you can create connections and access the servers in the back end, either by RDP or SSH. And this component uses HTML5 because obviously you're accessing it through your browser. And then Guacamole has the server component, which is GuacD. That's what understands the protocols and connects to your backend um, RDP and other servers. Okay, so I'm assuming you've watched my other videos on how to install Apache Guacamole using the script. Um, once you have that installed in the cloud, uh, once again, we're using Linode for this tutorial. As you can see, I have my Apache Guacamole server running on Linode and I'm all logged in. So now we're going to install GuacD on a virtual machine on our internal network so we can access RDP, SSH, and VNC using our cloud server connecting to this internal network, uh, using our cloud server connecting to this virtual machine which is running GuacD in our internal network and accessing those resources that way. So I'm just going to do IPA so you can see my IP address here is internal. And now that we know that, the first thing we're going to do is install some dependencies that we need for Apache Guacamole server to run. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Um, all these commands are going to be um, listed in the description section below. So you can just copy and paste and follow. So this is going to take a while because there's a whole uh, bunch of dependencies that we're going to install depending on your network speed. So I'm just going to pause this video here and I'll be back once it's complete. So once those dependencies are done installing, we're going to use the we get command. Um, as you can notice, we are only downloading the Apache Guacamole server. We're not um, downloading the client. We just want to compile and install the server. So I'm going to use we get and I'll download that. And once that's downloaded, we're going to use the tar command to unzip that file. So tar xvf and guacamole and we'll do enter. So as you can see, we have that file unzipped. And now we're going to change our directory into the directory we just unzipped. And once we're in there, we're going to run a couple of commands to, to compile and install the Apache Guacamole server. We're going to use the make and install command here. So 
So once that's done, we're going to do sudo make. And then we're going to run sudo make install to actually install Apache Guacamole server. Once that's complete, we're going to run the sudo ld config and then we're going to reload um, systemd. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead now, we'll clear our command line and we will start guacd. And we also want to enable guacd so they can it can uh, automatically start on a reboot. Then we're going to check and make sure GWACD is running with no problems. Okay. All right. Now we can see GWACD is running and it is listing in on localhost. So once we confirmed that that's installed, we're going to create the Apache Guacamole directory. And once we do that, we're going to CD into that directory. So in this directory, we're going to create a simple file called guacd.conf. This is the configuration file for guacd. So we can manipulate guacd and put our own configuration settings that we want to use in there. Because if you notice right now, um, guacd is running on localhost only. So we want to make it to listing on all interfaces. That way we can access GWACD from another IP address and not localhost. So we we'll use nano to create this file, nanoguacd.com. Before we continue, I'm going to show you Apache's Guacamole um, documentation on the guacd.com file. So you can basically just copy and paste this. Um, but before we do that, um, there's a couple of things we need to talk about. For this video, we're not going to be setting up SSL support um, because SSL is going to encrypt port 4822 between the GWACD server we've installed internally and our Apache Guacamole server in the cloud. So um, it's going to encrypt everything. So you can turn on SSL support for that. And um, we're also going to set our bind host, our bind port. So for this tutorial, we're only going to set our server configuration. So we'll head back over to the command line. And as you can see, we have bind host to local host. So we're going to change that here to 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, 0. This basically means um, GWACD should list in on all interfaces. Uh, we're going to leave the default port. If you want it, you can change this port. Um, mainly because a lot of you who are using like Cloudflare to like proxy things into your internal network, um, Cloud Cloudflare has specific TCP ports. Um, it supports. So you might want to change this to one of those ports. But notwithstanding this for this tutorial, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to use 4822. And then we'll save that and we will restart GWACD. Once you do that, if we look at the status again, now we can see GWACD is listing in on 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0, unlike before, which it was on localhost. Okay, we'll clear that. So now that this part is complete, the next thing we want to do, you want to port forward 4822 from your guacamole server. I will say the port forward should be specific to the IP address of your cloud instance. You shouldn't just create an any any rule. Uh, we want to open up the command line of our um, guacamole hosted in the cloud. And then we're going to cd into Etsy guacamole. And we want to open the guacamole.properties file. Okay. So inside of this file, there are some parameters that we need to specify and let our Apache Guacamole know to use a different um, GWACD server instead of the default one that you will normally install on the same server as your Apache Guacamole. Okay. 
so the documentation is right here i'm going to also have this added to the description section below we're just basically going to add this configuration in that file so we're going to paste this on here but obviously you want to change this to um, your external ip once you do that you can save that and once you have that saved we're going to restart tomcat and um, we should be good to go so once you restart tomcat 9 um, another thing we're going to do is disable you can if you want if not you can let it be i'm going to disable guac d on our cloud apache guacamole okay and i'll stop guac d as well since we don't need that anymore so once you have that stopped and disabled we're going to refresh this page and then we're going to log in as guac admin now we can go create a new connection okay we'll create the new um, ssh connection just call this test and we're going to give it an ip address and then we're going to save this we're going to head back over to um, our home page and we're going to try to access that ssh server so i'll enter my username here and my password and once you do you can see we were able to successfully ssh into that machine um it works great we didn't have to open any ssh ports rdp ports all we needed to do was port forward um the guac d port and now we can access our internal resources using apache guacamole easily without opening a whole bunch of ports to make this extra secure uh what you want to do is you want to head over to your guac d file and you want to follow the configuration um that's listed in the description section below all you need to do is create an ssl certificate so once you have an ssl certificate created you want to add this configuration in here obviously you're going to change the server certificate and uh, the private key to the path and server certain key that you've created and once you have that done you just need to save that and restart guac d so this brings us to the end of this video i hope this video helped explain to you how you can host apache guacamole on the cloud and have your own guac d instance running in your internal network if you like the video please hit the like button uh, if you have any questions you can leave it down in the comment section below please do not forget to share and subscribe